Hello, in this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily model plates and bowls in Blender 2.8. Now, I want to show you two different ways. One is modeling by primitive objects and the other is modeling by curves. So let's start off by modeling by, with primitive objects. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and maybe just remove the camera and light because we don't need them for this tutorial. And we're just going to go ahead and select the cube by right clicking and then hit X delete. Now, uh, to start off modeling by primitive, I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift A, then Mesh, and then we're going to select Circle. Okay, so we have a simple circle primitive object over there. Now, we want to fill this circle with a face. So I want to go ahead and click this little arrow icon over here, and then the fill type, change it from nothing to Ngon. So now we've filled our circle with a face. So this will be the base of our plate. So if I tab into Edit Mode, or alternatively change from object mode to edit mode over here, you'll see that we have vertices and a face. So now we can start to actually model our plate. The basic shape of modeling a plate is quite simple. All I'm going to do is go to front view by hitting the number one key on my numpad on the keyboard, then hit E to extrude and move it up a little bit. Now we'll just scale up like so, and then E once more to extrude and then move it just a tad bit higher, maybe around that much, and then scale it up a, a lot more. Okay, so now if I rotate around my view, we have something that looks like that. Go ahead and delete the top face by hitting X, delete faces. So now we have the basic shape for our plate. So to make our plate look more like a plate, I just need to go to the modifiers panel and then let's quickly tab out to go back into object mode. Uh, go ahead and click add modifier and we're going to go ahead and turn on subdivision surface. And then we might just bump up the subdivisions a bit more. Uh, maybe I might go into edit mode and maybe alt right click this edge loop over here. Sorry. Uh, we'll change this to maybe face select mode and then alt right click this face over here. And I might just go G, Z and move it a little higher something that looks like that. Okay, uh, let's also give our plates a bit of thickness. We're not really going for paper plates here, we're trying to go for more ceramic style plates. So I'll go ahead and click Add Modifier, Solidify. Then turn up the thickness uh, quite a bit. And I click this arrow over here to move the Solidify modifier to the top, and then the subdivision to the bottom. This just changes the ordering. This simply changes the ordering of the modifiers. So we have the model uh, look more solid and then we apply a smoothing on top of that okay we have a bit of weird artifacts going over here uh, so to fix that just go ahead and in face select mode uh, right click this face over here press E to extrude and then just scale in and then maybe we might go E once more and then scale in again so that fixes that part over there and then to fix this part just go ahead and hit uh, so that fixes that weird um, artifact that was occurring on the bottom of the plate over there. Uh, we can also make the this um, corner here a little bit more sharper, maybe even here as well. So to do that, just go ahead and tap into edit mode again, hit Control R to create a new loop cut, and create a loop cut around here. So left click, and then move your mouse a little down, and add one a loop cut, maybe somewhere around there, so that we get a more tighter uh, bend over here. Same with the, uh, this part over here, it's, it's looking a little too smooth. So I might just go Control R and maybe somewhere over here, I might just add in a loop cut somewhere like that. And maybe another loop cut over here. So that we get a bit more of a sharper uh, bend. So now our plate starts to look like a more proper plate. And our modeling part is done. If you have like a kitchen scene or a restaurant scene or something like that and you want to simulate plates being stacked on top of each other, all you need to do is go to add modifier, click array modifier, and what this will do is we can stack plates on top of each other quite easily and simply. So just change this relative offset, this part here, which is I think the X part, make that zero, and then we can uh, drag up the Z part. So you can go one if you want, but I think that's going to move it above the actual plate. So I might just uh, drag it down a little until it sort of stacks on top of each other nicely, maybe something like that, and then just simply turn up the count depending on how many plates you want uh, stacked on top of each other. 
Finally, to complete our model, uh, we want to make this plate look smooth. Right now we can see these weird lines. So in order to make it look smooth, go to Object, Shade, Smooth. And now all those weird liney artifacts are gone. And we have completed the modeling of our plates. So that's one way to model plates in Blender. Now let me show you another way. Okay, so I guess I don't need to see this anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and hide it. The other way to model plates in Blender is by using the curve modeling technique. So hit the number one key on your numpad to go into front view and then go shift A, curve, and then let's go ahead and add a, let's say a Bezier curve. Okay, and then just click. Once you're done with that, uh, straight away tab into edit mode. Okay, and then when we look at this from the top view, you'll see that we have a little bit of a bend already. We don't want any bending to occur at this point. So I'm, I want to scale it down on the Y axis by zero. So just go S, Y, zero, and that will flatten out our uh, Bezier curve so that, so that it becomes pretty much a straight line. Okay, then just move your Bezier curve uh, around about here. I might just select this one, Shift S, Selection to Cursor. So that will uh, immediately snap our point to right in the center of our object, which is perfect. So what we're going to do with the curve modeling technique is we're going to shape out one side of the plate and then we're going to use a modifier to pretty much spin the model around. So if you, I know it doesn't make sense right now, but let me just quickly show you what I mean. So let's start with this uh, point over here, right click that uh, point, and then go E to extrude. And then just move the point somewhere, let's say over here. Okay, so from a side view, this is the sort of side profile I want to have of my plate. Maybe I want to have this part a little longer. Like, okay, something like that. Now, we're going to go ahead and add a modifier. And then we're going to add the screw modifier. Okay, straight away. Oh, for some reason it's in wireframe mode. I don't know how I toggled that. But if it's a wireframe mode, just hit Z and then just change to solid, or you can alternatively change from here as well. Oops, sorry. So from wireframe to solid. So you can see that the screw modifier has essentially given us a plate simply by taking this curve over here and spinning it around this center point. So that's why we wanted to line up this point right in the center, because we want this curve over here to essentially, whoops rotate around our center point of the object to give us this plate shape. And how is it doing it? It's rotating around the z-axis. So if you find that you have a weird angle like something like that, uh, just note that right now it's saying it's spinning it on the x-axis. So it's taking your curve right here and just spinning it around the x-axis to give this shape. Similarly with the y. So it's taking this curve over here and just spinning it around like so. So we don't want to spin on those axes, we want to spin on, on the Z axis to give us our plate shape. So immediately we can see that it's given us a simple plate shape and we, we do pretty much the same thing like we did when we did uh, primitive modeling. We add a solidify modifier to make it thicker. Then we finally add a subdivision surface to make it smoother. Okay, and that's pretty much it. If I turn up the subdivisions to get a more smoother circle, and that's pretty much it. As and that's and that's pretty much it. Your plate modeling is now complete. So this is a, a lot more quicker and a lot more simpler. Whenever I do plate modeling, I do tend to prefer using the curve modeling technique over the the, the primitive modeling technique. Simply not only because it's uh, simpler and quicker, but also because it allows me to create variations quickly and easily. So for example, if I just take this curve and duplicate it by hitting Shift D, then moving it to the side, so that I create a copy of the original, um, I can go into edit mode, and then I can very quickly change and tweak the shape that I want to give me very interesting looking shapes for my plate. Not only can you play around with the different shapes of your plates, you can also change your plate into a bowl. So for example, if I go Shift D to create another copy, I can uh, change this into a bowl quickly and easily with only two seconds of modeling. And there, the modeling for the bowl is done. I might create another variation. 
and then create another type of ball. Maybe extrude this part out, and then uh, rotate it around, and then create something that looks like this, maybe. Or maybe, yeah, something like, oops, like that. And I can very easily create balls in Blender 2.8 in just a few seconds of work. Might change the thickness of this one as well to give more of a bowl type of thickness. And there, I'd pretty much be done. So that's it. Uh, if you want to add materials to it, you simply just go to the materials, go ahead and select a new material, call it the plate material, and give it a nice ceramic ish type of color. So if I go to the shading tab, just to see what it looks like, uh, we can turn down the roughness so that it uh, looks a bit more reflective, turn up the specular, or even give, give it a bit of a clear coat like so and yeah I can if I want I can play around with the colors of the place but I'll keep the uh, plate that, that typical sort of um, white color and then I can apply the same for these ones so control J oops, not control J control L to link the same materials to the other ones as well and there we can see we have our plates done so that's it you can go ahead and use these plates and bowls in your own 3d scenes if you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more like it, please go ahead and like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.